And you know who else mentioned Shulchan Aruch? Aruch Shulchan. That's right. So ultimately, he, he goes to this whole conversation, this and that. Ultimately, he says, look, Rabbi Cairo, Yosef Cairo, who we discussed in a previous discussion on this in episode 94, he says, the same rabbi, same authoritative rabbi, Rabbi Yosef Cairo, wrote in, writes in two separate works. He says on one hand, in his Joseph's house, Yosef, that it can be an issue. Oh, there are so many different problems that come about through drunkenness. Maybe we should stay away from it. Alternatively, in his set table, Shulchan Aruch, he writes, he it's a direct quote from Rava in the Babylonian Talmud, just uh, get drunk until you can no longer dis- uh, differentiate or otherwise distinguish between Rava, right. uh, and, between Mordechai. And, and, and we, just get drunk. we noted this in our last episode when we were discussing Rav Yosef Kara, right. that, that in, in the Beit Yosef, he seems to like, quote everyone who you know he quotes all of the Rishonim who passing like Rabbeinu Ephraim that that we don't really hold out the Yada and uh-huh. he certainly seems like he's going in that direction and then you open up Shulchan Aruch <laughs> and he just quotes out the Yada we don't really have an explanation like did he change his mind yep. what happened right um, and so ultimately he closes and he just says Tzarechin this yeah, requires and, further right, exactly. inquiry and the, the Aruch HaShulchan really makes note of that and he says I don't I don't understand like what what, what happened to all the Rabbeinu Ephraim that so Randy Arach seems to be the only one of the later Achronim who mm-hmm. is willing to go back and 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 bring back Rabbeinu Ephraim and say, maybe we just don't pass him like this whole other thing at all. <laughs> that is a really fascinating note, bringing back Rabbeinu Ephraim. Right, everyone else, yeah. they come to the same conclusion. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the Mishnah Bura and the, and, and the Arach HaShulchan come to the same conclusion. They both at the end of the day, endorse the position of don't get drunk, drink a little bit more than you're used to, go to sleep. But they come there from very different angles. Mm-hmm. The Mishnah Brewer quoting exclusively Achronim, right? The, the Primagodim, the Chayadam. He quotes the Taz in there also, but, but exclusively Achronim, finding, not challenging the Shulchan Aruch Psaq of, of, of Adelayada, but finding mm-hmm. any Achron he can who's going to limit what that means. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas the Arach HaShulchan, you know, sort of typical of the Arach HaShulchan, takes us through the sugya from the beginning, reanalyzes, you know, everything starting with the Rishonim, and, you know, ultimately comes to the same conclusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I found ultimately really fascinating, despite all the ink he spilled, was what he writes parenthetically after this, which he says, maybe it can be explained, ad, ad vlo ad bichlal, go up to go up to the that point of drunkenness but not including that and then he says you know uma say you know practically maybe you should uh distance your distance yourself from drunkenness and specifically whiskey you know this whole whiskey drinking bit he says you know what by by uh whiskey drunkenness you're going to be you're going to be vomiting it it, it ends it, there, there's no good ending to whiskey drinking on porum and he says you know what and he and he basically says, You know what? Just drink more than you're used to and, and sleep a little bit. Take a nap. Which is fascinating because we haven't seen any of these other rabbis this uh, specifying whiskey, even though it's it's per, uh, on the periphery, like Chayadam, Rabbi Danzig. He says, you know what, let's 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 really favor wine. He's saying, you know what, let's stay away from whiskey. And it's interesting that, like you said, his practical conclusion is in a parenthetical comment at the end. <laughs> After everything else he writes, multi, right, he multi-paragraph. His analysis, and his analysis is somewhat inconclusive. And so he's got to tell you, okay, here's, even though my analysis might be inconclusive, here's what I really think you should do. Parenthetically. Parenthetically. <laughs>